One thing about food, I'm a foodie. <laughs> I'm a foodie. Foodie? Foodie, yeah. I love to eat. So, during shoots, yeah, I avoid, but when I'm at breaks, yeah, I hog on food. But <laughs> I'm an animal lover too. Oh, so that's why you eat them? <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. When I see some incident, when some... No, people say, I love my food, so you love animals, so you put them in the food. No, I've tried many a times, like, okay, I have to quit eating non-veg. I have tried that also, so I've stayed away from non-veg for a week or ten days, but the minute when I see somebody having non-veg, I'll be like, okay, from next month. I don't know, I, I, how do I come out of this? Like, of course, like, even I have two pets at home and uh, I don't know, like, what do you say, Sadhguru, about this whole thing, this non-veg and not eating non-veg? When are you planning to eat the pets? Oh, no! No! <laughs> No, <laughs> they are like my babies <laughs> and That's what they say, even I've seen people talking to the chicken and all very nicely and next week they'll eat them up <laughs> Are you vegetarian or non-vegetarian? I'm a humanitarian. Humanitarian <laughs> Say, today there's substantial documentation to show that plants are as sensitive as any other creature. So whether you eat a plant or an animal or whatever, it is still violence. Only thing is they don't scream. They do scream, you don't hear, that's all. There's enough evidence to show that they do scream. It has been recorded like this, that if uh, let's say an animal comes, see among, among the trees, let's say there are, let's say a thousand or ten thousand trees here, let us say an elephant came and starts eating the, the leaves of the tree, Immediately this tree will send messages to all its species that it is being eaten by whatever. I don't know whether it'll recognize an elephant or not, but it is being eaten like this. And within minutes, if the elephant goes there to the other trees, the, all the trees would have produced a certain amount of poisonous material in their leaves. When the elephant tries to eat that, it will sound… it will taste bitter and it's poisonous, so it won't touch. So among themselves, there is that much sensitivity. So whether you pluck a fruit or a vegetable or cut a animal and eat, everything is cruel. It is just that we must do it with some sensitivity, only to the extent it's necessary. You should drop this idea of being a foodie. We all eat food. We must eat food, otherwise it'll be cruel to this one. But becoming an identity with food, not right, because that means we will indulge, we will not just nourish ourselves. We have a right to nourish ourselves. As a life, we have a right to nourish ourselves because this is how the food cycle is in the world. But we don't have a right to wantonly take another life just for pleasure. We have no business to do that. We have every right to nourish this life, but we have no right to enjoy taking another life. So don't call yourself a foodie, because food should never become the identity. For survival, for nourishment, we will eat whatever we have to eat given the moment. Thank you. Thank you, Sadhguru.